Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokkan Battle video. Uh, so in this video I'm just going to take you guys through a unit review of the latest EZ8 Prime Battle Freezer. Uh, so yeah, uh, just going to take a look at him. Obviously from his leader skill he's a 90% extreme type lead and he is a super type lead of 70% uh, which is a decent lead skill, it's nothing crazy. Uh, he greatly stacks attack and defense on his 12 key, and he massively lowers attack and defense on his 18 key. Uh, looking at his passive, he gets attack and defense 50%, uh, then he gains an additional uh, 3 key and defense of 50% in the first slot, and then he gains an additional 3 key if he's fighting super type enemies in the first or third slot. Uh, so, overall, pretty decent kit. Uh, he gains additional attack on his ultra super attack as well, uh, which means because of the way the passes work and the way everything gets implemented, uh, he basically can hit some pretty freakishly high damage numbers. His link set, uh, comparably for a prime battle SBR, is actually very good. Uh, he's featuring some pretty premier links. Uh, he definitely works best on a Wicked Bloodlines team, but he, he features some pretty premier links. Obviously legendary power, uh, but he has big bad bosses, he has most malevolent clan in space. Uh, for damage he's got Conquest of Terror, so he's really rocking a lot of good links uh, that give him quite a large amount of defense and attack on top of that. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take him into a Dokkan event, we'll take him into the uh, maybe the Infinite Dragon Ball history for the Cell Saga, Android Saga 1 uh, against all the sea fighters. Uh, he will perform slightly l uh, less impressively against extreme type enemies. Uh, so you will see maybe in a couple of SBR videos later on how he performs. Uh, but let's get right to it. So we're just going to drop into the Stokan event. Uh, we'll run him through. So generally if you're going to run him uh, what you're going to want to do is if you have the strength cooler or basically any of the wicked bloodlines uh, units that have big bad bosses that's going to be who you're going to want to run them with. Uh, all of them have most malevolent clan in space so that shouldn't be a problem uh, but you're definitely going to want to run him in the first or third slot. Uh, I move him to second slot sometimes just to see how his attack damage does with full links and that but you generally want to leave him in first slot. You'll see there he's rocking out with about 150-160k damage uh, which is obviously very very good considering you could choose to raise that even further with his uh, 12 key if you're in need of some defense or you can have him perform some big boy damage. Uh, bearing in mind that is him uh, with a 20% support and the support from Cooler and all the links active from Cooler. I mean you saw the uh, 5 links active. But yeah, he's going to rock a huge attack stat. I mean 6.6 .6 million is massive, it is impressive and you can build him pretty much however you want because he's a free to play card. So there's no stress about going back and rewinding him or anything like that. Uh, you can essentially just uh, build him however you wish. I need to adjust mine. Uh, he has some evasion on him uh, from back in the day when he was really bad, uh, so I'm going to adjust that, uh, but otherwise I do suggest just full crit on this guy. Uh, you could go additionals and get his 12 key for the massive raising on defense if you really feel it's necessary for certain events, like maybe in extreme SBR, uh, you want to focus more on additionals so that he can proc his defense more afterwards, uh, but I don't think it's entirely necessary. Uh, his best linking partners will be this cooler. Uh, this cooler is by far his best linking partner. Um, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you could also run him with physical cooler, who's also a decent linking partner. Uh, metal cooler is okay. Um, one of his better free-to-play linking partners is literally the Int Metal Cooler. Uh, I link them up for the um, Dragon Ball Infinite History event. So, uh, he that Int Metal Cooler is a very impressive unit, uh, and he is a very, very impressive linking partner for this freezer. They share legendary power, big red bosses, most 11 clan in space, uh, conquest of terror, I believe. So, yeah, but we'll take a look at them obviously when they pop up on rotation. Uh, here we're gonna get pretty much the exact same identical attack stat from freezer. Uh, we'll watch him in the first slot again. So just for people who don't know, the way the first and third attacker slot goes is uh, if an enemy is attacking before Freezer, his defense will show a little bit lower than it will actually be. Uh, so it will be at about 100k. Uh, so he will take a little bit of damage, uh, obviously if they attack higher than that. Uh, because when, you, when it says first attacker, that actually basically means 
on his super attack that defense will kick in um, and they use the first and third attacker just to basically separate it from uh, that unit being in the second slot essentially so it means first attacker out of your units uh, but also includes the enemy if they are attacking first so you will see in the Dragon Ball history event uh, when I put Freeze in the first slot you'll see his defense even though it's the exact same team drop to about 100k and you might wonder why it's because of that so just to let you guys know that that is something you have to bear in mind uh, especially when you're using him in things like uh, SBR or ESBR or anything like that but he's a good good card to have he's got six categories um, comparatively to the tech freezer he's got 10 but I think that's a good differentiation uh, it allows this freezer to be good on a lot of teams but also allows tech freezers to have you know time to shine um, this uh, Frieza is on, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, Wicked Bloodlines, Conquest of Terror, um, actually yeah, what, what category is it? He's on Wicked Bloodlines, Conquest of Terror, um, and a whole bunch of other ones. <laughs> um, no, I just can't remember them right now. They're not coming back to me uh, while I film the video, and unfortunately, I can't pull up a reference. Um, but yeah, he he's definitely a very impressive. Unit. He's got six categories, uh, so you can definitely uh, use him out and shell him out for a couple things. Uh, you'll see here. This is the cooler. So the cooler gains better attack stats and defense stats based on health. Uh, but there is a little bit of regeneration in this team, not too much, uh, especially if you don't have the coolers linked together, but there is a little bit of regeneration, uh, so you could get that health back up. Uh, so, yeah, it's not too bad a link to have, especially if you've got a couple of metal coolers on the team. Got them flooding around. You can definitely run uh, quite a few of these. If you've got the strength cooler, you could probably run strength cooler as the lead. Uh, and then run like the metal end cooler as a support and then that would enable you to float um, freezer with coolers on every single turn and score a little bit of regeneration to keep the end cooler army up but yeah as we're seeing uh, freezer's just dishing out monster attack stats uh, which is impressive and his defense is really good so at this point freezer is looking really solid uh, we'll see how he performs in a longer form event I don't doubt that he will do perfectly fine. Uh, so, yeah, overall, I mean, Freezer is a good card. I think Freezer is slightly more usable than Goku. Goku's link set, for one, is more detrimental than Freezer's. And even though their passive is incredibly similar, because Goku struggles for key, even with the key bonuses from his passives, it doesn't help him get 18 keys, it helps him get 12 keys. Uh, so it ends up being quite a, not detrimental, it just ends up being a a not so um, functioning passive in terms of providing his 18 key. And I mean, when Goku gets his 18 key, he's dishing out, you know, 5 million attack stats as well. But it is just more difficult to accommodate Goku's link set uh, in his teams that he's on, uh, basically, is, is what I'm getting at. But yeah, um... We'll take him through this long form event. He's not going to struggle at any point during this event. He's not going to struggle at all uh, at any stage really, just in general. Um, so don't expect to see him take like massive amount of damage. There is a stage where he takes a couple of damage from normals because his defense doesn't trigger him until he attacks. Uh, so he takes a bit of damage at the end. And I think he takes the one super. But we're never at any point going to die with this team anyway. Uh, because a lot of this team, all their big bad bosses, they all got crazy stats. I mean, even this cooler here, uh, this in, this agility cooler, who I only have uh, two, well, I think I have two dupes in them. Uh, but this end cooler, you know, he ends up having 140k defense and ends up hitting for 3 million as well. So, this whole team, I have link leveled, so this is why they are performing at such a high caliber. So just bear in mind when you are taking Freezer out uh, that my Freezer has pretty much full level 10 links. Only his first three links are not level 10, uh, but the Big Bad Bosses is level 10. Conquest of Terror, uh, Terrifying Conquerors, I think it is, is also level 10. Uh, so he he's got those big boosts. That's 15% boost and 25% boost. 
So he's scoring out big time in terms of like linking and just bonuses from that. If you don't have big bad bosses at link 10, the damage is going to be a drop off. It's not going to be 6.6 .6 million. It will be you know in the higher four millions, which is still incredibly good. Uh, it can definitely carry you in a lot of content. Uh, so yeah, don't panic about that. But just bear in mind that this is a link leveled freezer. Uh, I was preparing for this video, so this is a link leveled freezer. This is him performing at like a 95-ish percent. Uh, performance capacity I mean yeah he's also got a bit of crit out of place and all that but in reality he overall is pretty much at full efficiency uh, so yeah this is this is a video specifically catered to showing off the impressiveness of the EZA but also just the kind of heights of the EZA as well um, you could eke out a little bit more damage for sure but uh, I don't think it would be anything too substantial um, in terms of team, this is a very good team. I use them for some content here and there. I don't use them too much. I'm mainly link leveling now. And I have done pretty much all the SBR that they feature in. I uh, don't plan on using them for anything too much. Freezer will appear in quite a few of my upcoming SBR videos. Uh, just because I think he's a reliable free to play option that you definitely will use. And I don't, you know, there's a grind to get him in Goku, but. It's a grind that can literally be done from zero by any free to play player. So, as much as it's a grind, uh, if you guys earn it, you can use him. He, he's not limited by anything. He's incredibly well performing, and because he leads at 90%, um, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely good. So, overall, his performance is very impressive. Um, I quite enjoy the card. We're going to link him up with the end cooler here. Uh, we're going to see how he performs in the second slot. Uh, obviously in the second slot he doesn't have his full defense. But that's okay because uh, we're just trying to see how he performs from a damage aspect. And he gets more links when he's linked up between the two of them. We have seen how he does defensively and seen his stats. So they're pretty good. Uh, especially when he gets his 12 key, 6.7 there. So just it's a lot of damage. It's, it's an Im immense amount of damage that this unit can do. Uh, plus he's massively lowering attack and defense on that 18 key so not only is he doing a huge amount of damage but he's also really impacting the amount of damage that he can get back because massively lowering is like 40 or 50 percent of attack and defense of a unit it's uh, not like the usual 20 or 30 percent that you get from cards it's 40 or 50 percent it's a large sum of reduction on them you know if he gets an additional or he gets a crit it's gonna really like shell shock the unit he's hitting so yeah this is cooler uh, so for those who don't know agility cooler gains attack on getting hit uh, so he's not going to have an impressive attack stat until he takes a couple of hits we do take a super attack here but again we're not too concerned uh, we link up agility cooler and physical cooler they have like one or two links um, they have some decent links, obviously they share big bad bosses, as most of this team does except for Final Form uh, Freezer. So, you know, very reliable options. Uh, Final Form Freezer we just have floating. Uh, his main thing is obviously his guard mechanic. But that only kicks in when he's fighting against Goku family enemies. So, yeah, that is something to bear in mind. But because there's a couple of them in the stage, uh, and also just because his stats are still decent without it, and his guard can be activated against, you know, tech type enemies as well, uh, he's still a reliable option for long form events. You just have to be a bit more careful about using him than, say, you know, other units that stack indefinitely or anything like that, like uh, Agility Cooler. So, yeah, just uh, displaying how his defense has gone down here. Um, according to his passive because he's in the second slot him and this in cooler are a really impressive rotation I even went out and bought dupes in, in cooler uh, just to like compare their defense and damage like with two rainbow versions and obviously the freezer does look slightly more impressive than cooler but I, I was very impressed uh, cooler's also got pretty much level 10 links I was very impressed with how cooler performed overall just considering his like his age and that nothing has happened to him barring the link leveling update so I was very impressed with how Kula performed, the numbers he could hit obviously the freezer is not getting the buff from this golden freezer because he only buffs target Goku category and this freezer is first form freezer for sure and he fought you know Goku and the Z fighters but 
First form Freezer never threw down with Goku or targeted him or anything. The reason the tech one has uh, target Goku is because the tech one is just a transforming Freezer that encompasses uh, pretty much all of his forms and you know, comes from the Resurrection of F movie, basically, to, to put it in a nutshell. So, yeah. And that's why he has it. As you can see, his cooler's damage jumping up because he's been hit a couple of times. So, immediately he's doing some pretty good numbers. And we have the you know, physical cooler. This cooler has two dupes as well. So, a lot of these units also have two dupes um, as well. They have links. So, that's why they're performing at such a high level. Obviously, I've taken the friendly strength cooler. Uh, they had support there. So, some pretty good numbers across the board. Uh, we're really just kind of eliminating this event at super light speed. So, yeah, overall, very impressive. I think the best performance still obviously is uh, Strength Freezer. Um, it's just a very impressive unit. Uh, overall, his kit's really good. I think he's great for ESPR. I think he's great for SPR. And you know, even if you take him into long form events, like, yeah, he might get clapped by Int uh, UI Goku in the LGE and stuff like that. But if you get his 12 key and he gets clapped uh, by Int Goku, you know, unless he takes a super, he's not going to actually take damage because with his 12 key, his defense will raise above 200k on the right team. So only supers are really going to hurt him. And same with ESPR. Like, you put him on the right category and he does fit under Cooler's lead, you know, for, like, strength SPR. You put him on the right category and he's going to not only still perform with these crazy high numbers, but he's also going to have the defense to tank ESPR if you intentionally hit the 12 key, which you can, you know, pretty much do, even with the 3 key. He's not got a lot of key links, he's, he's only got one or two, and he's mainly sitting with attack and damage and defense links. So yeah, but overall, um, obviously we're not nearing the end here, this is the third last phase. Uh, we fight go on and then go on again. Uh, but as you can see, so far, he's, he's really just performed like an animal. Um, we're going to be very lucked out here. Uh, Goku hits Kula, who takes no damage because of type disadvantage and his high defense. And then Kula's obviously now hitting very impressive attack stats because his full buff is done from getting hit a couple times. So that's also super helpful. Then we obviously have physical Kula following up, and I think he gets a crit. A crit, I think. Yeah, they one crit. Um, yeah, he takes a bit of damage, but that's also top disadvantage. And we have Golden Freezer stacking and providing support to most of the rotations. So, but, yeah, and he can also crit against Goku units. So, overall, um, this team is really impressive. But more impressively is just how the Freezer performs. Uh, so, obviously, we're taking a look here. Uh, just taking a look at the Freezer. Um, He's in the second slot, we're obviously going to move him to the first slot. I think I was just thinking about, you know, who to put where and what. So as you can see, his defense there is at 1-1, one, one, you know, about 110. That's because Goku is attacking first. The moment Freezer attacks, his defense will go to 150. Uh, I think this is actually a good example of that, because we don't get his... Do we get his 12 key? Um, yeah, I'm actually showing... I'm literally showing his the way his defense is. So you can see he's going to take some damage before. This is a perfect example. He's going to take some damage before, and then he doesn't get attacked after, so it doesn't matter. Um, no, he does get attacked after, yeah. So, yeah, he's going to... Oh, no, he's not going to take any damage, never mind. Uh, I think it happens later. But, yeah, still massive attack stat. Big attack stat. Big damage. He would have got more damage in the second start because we'd have had another two links activated with Kula. Um... He takes 100k there uh, from Goku on a super attack. He didn't even get his 12 key. So if we'd got his 12 key, he would have taken like 40, 30k, which is nothing really when you have defenses and stats like this. Um, so yeah, his kit overall is just really good. I think it can work for both long and short form events. Uh, and him being on six categories is really good. Uh, did Extreme Strength need him to finish ESBR? I don't want to say yes, uh, but he does fill in a nice role, especially since he fits under Cooler's lead, and Cooler's like one of the premier, you know, units to take into extreme SPR strength. Um, and then, uh, you know, I think he fits on every team uh, that he is uh, currently on. 
in terms of like damage and production. Um, I think he is definitely one that slots into the Wicked Bloodlines team over Tech Freezer, and he slots into the Terrifying Conquerors team uh, and things like that. He will gain Intergalactic Traveler, I believe, as a category, um, which will also be very good. Uh, he's got Planet, uh, he's got Planet Namek Saga uh, as a category as well. Even though that whole team is kind of a joke at this point, um, yeah, he does have that as as a category. Uh, Freezer Force will be one when it comes out with a proper lead. So he's yeah, he's still got quite a bit to go um, in terms of like looking good and and getting some Wicked Bloodlines as a team. So so yeah, he, he's definitely useful. He's not gonna you know, be on every team you run, but on any team you can run him on, I would suggest running him, especially if he has a running mate uh, that has big bad bosses. I know Cooler, Strength Cooler is pretty much on all of his teams, so right there, that's basically, you know, cutting a long story short, that's your, your main duo that you're gonna run together to get this guy to perform like an absolute animal. And you can just see, he's just dishing out damage, dishing out damage, dishing out damage, he doesn't care, he's really just performing at such an innately high level um so yeah overall uh i'm very happy with this easy obviously people knew about it for a while so it's not anything surprising that he's performing so well or uh he's you know really like showing out or improving i mean i know a lot of people who keep up with the jp scene have known that this is going to be a big one for a while uh but yeah if you know for those of you who haven't known or for those of you who are new players and you're wondering why do people talk about easy A's or what is the value of easy A's, uh, this is a perfect example to show you both the value of farming free to play cards and the value of, of um, easy A'ing them and going through these kind of grounds because this is basically the equivalent of, of getting a summonable LR. It's in the summonable LR level card and that makes it very impressive. Um, it makes it so worth it for uh, new players, old players, a a any kind of player. So yeah, we we at the final phase here. Um, we're not gonna have too many problems with this phase. We haven't had many problems just like in general with the entire thing. Uh, if you're admiring how some of the other units are performing, uh, obviously, uh, you know, the this whole team across the board. Full disclaimer: have pretty much nigh on ten out of ten links. Uh, and some of them are even rainbowed and most of them have two dupes and they all have gear on as well so they're performing at a high level because they are at a high level um, you know cooler is going to take 14k and a couple bits of damage here in this final phase here but I mean this in Gohan doesn't you know doesn't not hit hard and um, you know, he had no type of advantage or anything, and his stats could even go up even further, because you can get another two dupes in him, and that's another 600 or so defense, so, yeah, definitely a, definitely a good team, but, like I say, the video is about Strength Freezer, and Strength Freezer's shown it, uh, he's, he's shelled out some big attack stats for us, he's shown that his defense is both consistent and performs well, uh, we haven't seen like the full benefit of his 18 key having greatly lowering defense um, but the fact that he's never struggling for key and things like that also is indiv like indicative of his passive and how that works um, and yeah I mean also just to cut a long story short uh, he's just been performing he's been the best performer in the video uh, could cooler possibly outperform him uh, rainbow cooler that is a 90% cooler and there was a rainbow one in the dokkan event uh, could so maybe here we'll see. So you see they took 35k, um, obviously quite a bit of damage. Uh, yeah, no, and then he didn't very attack her. But afterwards he probably would have taken none. Uh, so I would have liked that to be shown because that that would have really helped in displaying his defense. But I mean, his defense is solid. Uh, you know, and you can intentionally get the 12 key to make it perform even better. So yeah, I think this has been a good showing of Freezer. I hope this guy, this helps you. I do think Wicked Bloodlands is his best team. Terrifying Conquerors as well. Anything where you have big bad bosses and he can get a Freezer unit so he gets the strongest clan in space link uh, for key will make him a, a viable option. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I hope you enjoy the new channel logo. It was made by my sister. Uh, so thanks Emma. That was an awesome job and I think it's really cool. 
And yeah, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers and bye.